And welcome back to Crash Bandicoot 3, Warped for the PlayStation 4. Alright my friends, let's go ahead and jump into level 4, Boneyard. So there are actually two gems to get in this level. Wow, just, just wow. Frosty the Tiger's having withdrawal symptoms or something. I don't know what the hell's happened to his life. Okay, well, sorry, uh, sorry Frosty, I hope you can work this out with your therapist. Anyway, I might need therapy after this because look how terrifying this is. We're being chased through this freaking prehistoric jungle by some dinosaur. This is horrible. I have to admit, I really love the uh, the first section of um, levels in this game because it introduces you to everything. We now have a chase level. We've had a race level, a chase level, an underwater level, a classic level. Oh, I missed a box. Never mind. I don't know if it counts when he destroys them. But yeah, it's, it's actually kind of good. It's really clever that they did that. I'm going to try and break all the boxes in this one just for the fun of it. We'll see what happens. But it's kind of different because, as you can see, we now have a side-scrolling element, which is something we weren't introduced to in the, uh, you know, the previous two. You had like uh, a little bit of that in Crash Bandicoot 2, but look, we're actually running forward now. Everything goes a little bit strange. That's a gem route. Oh, there you go. And I destroyed the nitro box as well, just, just, just you know, just for fun, basically, because it couldn't hurt me, but I could hurt it. Look at all these bones. Ah, it's freaking creepy. Look at that guy. Surprise rape attack or something. Look at him. It's freaking horrible. And now we have a bonus level in a chase level. It, that's like, what's, he, what's even happening now? Is this even a chase level? You just don't know. Loads of Wumper Fruits. Oh, wait. I'll, I'll take that first, actually. Don't want to miss out on that life. Alright, cool. Yes, we pretty much have the same controls as we did in Crash Bandicoot 2, which is kind of nice. Only except in this one we get access to more features, um, like a, a bazooka of some kind, so we can, you know, blow enemies' faces off, make them look like Harvey Dent, and just have a whale of a time, basically. Ah, okay. Oh, that was close. What is that? Is that the gem over there? I see that purple glow, and I know exactly what that is. Nice. Whee! Ah! Oh. Can you get them all? Yes. It's a good thing there's not a drop there, otherwise that'd be kind of intimidating. And that would be just like a Crash Bandicoot game for the record. So how many boxes are we have? 54 out of 66, so... okay. We'll see what happens, I suppose. That's like 59, so I need 7 more boxes apparently. Um, I don't know if that box that I missed earlier counts. He did destroy it, but I don't know if that actually strictly counts. Oh no, my feet! singed the hair on my toes. I no longer resemble a hobbit. This is a tragic day. Oh, why did I even hit that? Revenge of the nitro boxes. Oh my god, and then I got my face freaking squashed as well. Okay. Bye, Aku Aku Mask. It was nice knowing you. Maybe it's pallying up now with, you know, the, the mask that Cortex has got. Ugh. It's possible. So this guy sucks at this game. Hopefully not. <laughs> ah. Oh my god, how did I not even touch that? I'm pretty sure I did. Jump! Oh my god, Crash, seriously. I, I'm having trouble getting through that for some reason. The game is going to throw an Aku boss back at me in a minute. Maybe I should just try and avoid... Oh my god, why did I even go back for that? That's, that's hindered me big time now in terms of time. I'm going to get squashed. Okay, I don't even know anymore. I don't even know what's happening with these boxes. <laughs> I don't even know. I'm just literally running for my life. I've tried to take a shortcut there. It's actually helped me. Uh, oh my god, it actually counted and I got the gem. Wow, I, I'm actually not going to say anything. That all worked out slightly better for me towards the end there. I was thinking that was going to end so tragically. <sighs> okay, so yeah, there was another gem that we could have got there, but we can't get that unless we have the, uh, you know, the coloured gem that takes us to where it's located. 
Same deal with the original Crash Bandicoot games. You have to do a lot of backtracking in order to get, you know, 100% of the gems. But like I said in the uh, the first episode, I'm not really doing a gem run. I'm just playing this game for fun so that you can laugh at me, win, and fail. Uh, but yeah, anyway, let's go ahead and jump into level 5. This is another different level featuring Coco, uh, where she's basically riding around on some kind of jet ski. So they literally throw every style of level at you on, you know, how would you put it? Level 1, basically, of the five levels that are there for us. Section 1 of this game, I, w I will call it. <laughs> but these levels are really fun, in my opinion. You can still die very easily, um, especially if you're trying to get all the boxes, because this thing is easy to manoeuvre, but it does slide around a little bit because you're on water. So that's going to happen. But these explosives in the wall, they're just, you know, they're just laughing, waiting for their moment. Their one moment of fame just to, you know, just wreak havoc in your life, basically. I will try and get the boxes just, just for the fun of it, because I think it makes the play for a little bit more entertaining. Oh my god. Oh wow, kill a boat. No. I was right behind a checkpoint there. Oh, look at that paddle at the end. Do you see that paddle at the end there? How the paddle just came down just to finish the job. I'm pretty sure that wasn't even supposed to happen. It was just the positioning of the boat where I died. But that kind of felt like rubbing salt in the wound in my opinion. Like here, have a paddle to the face. <laughs> okay, I've got a life back. It's not quite the end of the world. But, you know, I'll take it. Right, I need to time this a little bit better. So, don't... Oh, freaking hell. Damn it, man. Seriously. Oh, my God. This is... Uh, this is the first five levels in the game. And I'm already dying. <laughs> but this is a Crash Bandicoot game. I mean, if you can play the entire game without dying once, kudos to you, because that is extremely difficult. Because, you know, you don't start off with something like... Aku Aku masks, you have to get those in order to protect yourself from you know, one or two hits. Okay. Maybe hesitating is my biggest mistake. Ah, he's coming back again. There's the checkpoint. Get the checkpoint for maximum relaxation. Okay. After this level, we have a boss. It's frosty. No, go away. They can actually kill you, by the way. That seemed like a pretty harmless seagull, but believe me, it wants your chips. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's just seagulls in general, but in this country, uh, I, I don't know what it is, but they, they actually, they're, they're kind of vicious. Like they, they actually have the ability to kill people if they wanted to. Like, just murder them. Like, this explosive just murdered me. <laughs> She's not happy. I oh, know. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Coco. Just trying to get all the boxes. I'm sure you can understand. Why am I even doing this? I never even set out to do this. Why am I doing this to myself then? But yeah, the seagulls over here—they have tattoos, and they—they just—they just don't like it. I tell you, they—they just—they just want to kill people all the time. I actually saw one the other day, it's a true story. There was a woman pushing her kid in the pram. The kid had like, I don't know, a packet of crisps or something in his hand. And the seagull literally swooped down, took the bag out of his hand and just like took off with it. <laughs> they they just like no fucks given whatsoever. The seagulls are taking over, I tell you. I, no, 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 no. I've always thought that um, if they were bigger than us, they would actually, I, I tell you, they'd pick us off. For crying out loud... It looked like it was circling around the box, but it actually decided not to. <sighs> okay, alright, okay. Game face on now. As funny as it is to talk about kids having their crisps taken away by seagulls, I, I guess I'll live with the, the humour of that. Never mind. <laughs> I actually thought the seagull was going to come back and take the kid out of the pram as well, and it just like gets you know flown up into the air, and the kid's like, no! It's like, you know, taken off with the child. I saw that happening. It didn't happen, just you know, just in case you were wondering. But you know, I, I felt like it could have done. I felt like I could have been a witness to that. Oh, for crying out loud! Oh, stop! Oh my God! How many times am I? How how am I falling into that? I have done that four times now. How have I done that four times? That is not even 
That is not even a hard box to get. I need to stop talking about killer seagulls in this country and just get the boxes and just get the heck out of it because I'm way too distracted. I, I don't really exactly have a lot of lives to lose on this jet skiing level. So <laughs> I'm just going to, you know, try and, and do this properly now. Right, go through there if you can. If Just if you can, Crash, or Coco, rather, so my bad. Right, there we go. And I have a checkpoint. Maybe I should have got the checkpoint first. That way, if I fluffed it up, I didn't have to do all of that again. But never mind, you live and learn, as uh, Sonic says. Okay, that is evil. I'm home free for now. More explosives. Go through the explosives. Last famous words. Yeah, if you fly over those, um, you get, you know, you get a life out of it. I never knew that, but if you, you know, fly over the boat, you get a bonus life out of it. Right, just grab those, grab that, get the gem and get the heck out of here. How tragic would it have been if I'd gone right past that gem and left the, uh, the level? <laughs> that would have sucked so bad. Anyway, it's time to assassinate this tiger for some reason. That's, that's what we're, we're here to do, apparently. Don't worry, it's going to be great. Making waves is now completed. We've got the crystal and we've got the gem just because we could. Show off Coco's little victory dance as well because it's adorable as fuck. <laughs> the little laugh at the end as well. She pieces out, Crash jumps back in, and now let's go ahead and take out Tiny Tiger. Or Frosty as I'm going to call him. Okay, okay, he's definitely got anger issues of some kind. Sometimes he attacks too aggressively, see that, that that's the hint. <laughs> I didn't even see that before I said that. Wow, look at, look at Cortex just sitting up there in this Colosseum. Caesar Cortex checking in. Come on in, Tiny, let's finish this then. Bouncing around like Tigger, more like. Douche! Right, so you see uh, these little cages here. Oh my god, okay. Was not really looking for an opening there, but the, 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 the lion is sure satisfied in terms of hunger. So, you know, we did something good, I suppose. This reminds me of uh, Scooby Doo and the Cyber Chase, actually, thinking about it. There's a battle where you have to face an enemy. I can't remember exactly which one it was. Uh, and lions come racing out of here at you. Oh my god, they're running so fast and the camera screen is shaking as well, making it that much more intense. Wow! Where the hell was the break even there? Holy crap, alright. I do not remember this being that difficult. <laughs> right. Let's uh, just try and focus on the openings here. Why can't I like attack these lions? Oh my god. Okay, we survived one wave of lions. <laughs> oh! Damn, I was not expecting him to go that way. It looked like he was going left and then he actually was going right. Alright, second bit of damage done. One piece remaining. Lees don't lose to this wave of lions. If I stick to the middle, I can kind of see uh, both places that I can go. Like, if I see it's too busy on the left, I'll go right, etc. Oh my god, okay, he's doing that again. Wow, he's getting extremely close. Alright, we're done. Yeah! Nice. And we got an ability out of it, which is what you get for defeating bosses in this one. This is the Supercharged Body Slam. For a more powerful belly flop, press X button to jump and then circle at the top of the jump. Yeah, look at that. That's pretty cool. Even leaves like a little shadow on the ground. Look at that, see? It's kind of an intense body slam. <laughs> They're throwing fruit at Tiny. Oh, well. That's not very great, is it? 
Anyway, that is section one of this game completed, which means that we can now go on to the next area, because the next area will now unlock after defeating the first boss of this game. So that's good. That's all good. Well done, children. By defeating Tiny, you have unlocked the gate to the next time travel area. Go back to the center of this time twister and save your progress if you wish. From there, you will see that the gate to the second time travel area is now open. All right. Okay. So as you can see now, this area is now unlocked for us. We can't go in anywhere else because... Nope. <laughs> Just nope. But yeah, this is going to be where we're starting the next episode. And we're going to be jumping into level 6, which is G-Wiz. What a level name. But yeah, hopefully you guys are enjoying the playthrough and I hope to see you guys in the next episode. Alright guys, so thanks for watching and I'll see you all next time. Take care.